Welcome to the video lecturing series of data mining and warehousing. Today, in this video lecture, we will discuss about optics, that is, a density based uh, clustering technique. We already discussed one of the density based clustering techniques, that is, the uh, DB scan in our previous video. Today, in this one, we will discuss about the optics. And optics clustering stands for ordering of points to identify cluster structure ordering of points to identify cluster structure and this optical optics algorithm clustering algorithm is almost similar to db scan that means it is draws inspiration from the db scan clustering algorithm and db scan assumes a constant density of cluster but optics allows a varying density of cluster that is the difference between that is one of the difference between optics and db scan there uh, in db scan and all we can uh, do the arbitrary shaped clusters and clustering and all along with that we can assume constant density of cluster in db scan but in the case of optics it allows varying density then in optics uh, in db scan uh, the few parameters that we discussed in our previous video they are like parameters like epsilon minimum points then core object this all concept we discussed epsilon is the maximum radius minimum point is the number of points that you have to uh, specify in order to cluster and the core object means the object which satisfy these two that was the uh, this is the parameter in the case of db scan in case of optics it has to we are using two important two more terms along with epsilon and reach, uh, minimum points we are using two other important terms one is core distance another is reachability distance these are the important concept comes under optics core distance and reachability distance now we will see the core distance core distance is the is defined as the smallest value epsilon such that epsilon neighborhood of p has at least minimum point of object that is it is the minimum value of radius required to classify a given point as a core point now we will see an example then you will be able to understand it more now consider this point p here the points are given as epsilon value 6 and minimum point is given as 5 now what we are doing is like uh, we have to find the core distance so core distance of an of a point p if if we want to find the core distance of an object p then p should be a core object what is the core object means core object a core object means it should it should be in within the radius epsilon and it should satisfy the minimum points criterion then only we will call it as a uh, call that point as a core point now see this p just p okay p uh, it is in the that point is inside the epsilon value 6 now what is the minimum number of points 5 1 2 3 4 5 yes 4 points are there so it is a core object now p is a core point now we want to find the core distance and so in order to find the core distance the core distance means the minimum radius value which should satisfy the minimum point criterion now epsilon value is con here the epsilon value is 6 right epsilon value is given as 6 now i am taking a epsilon uh, taking a radius value epsilon dash which is as 3 millimeter but it should contain minimum number of points now consider this if i am taking minimum points as 3 now how many uh, points are there inside uh, the radius 3 1 2 inside p uh, 1 1 2 3 4 5 5 points are there so inside the radius 3 inside the epsilon dash value 3 5 points are there so that distance is known as 3 uh, that distance is known as core distance so how to define a core distance core distance is nothing but the smallest value of epsilon yes such that epsilon neighborhood of p has at least minimum points object so that is the minimum value of epsilon 
but it should satisfy the minimum points criterion then we will call that distance as core distance if and only if that object should be a core object okay so that's that is the first parameter in case of optics now we will move on to the next one that is reachability distance reachability distance is defined uh, defined with respect to another point so uh, so reachability distance of a point p and q is the maximum core distance of p and the euclidean distance between p and q okay that means reachability distance between point p and q is the maximum core distance of p and the euclidean distance now see this consider this example in this example you can see epsilon value is given as 6 and the minimum point is 5 and core distance is 3 mm that uh, we already discussed in the previous diagram now consider the point p okay now i want to find the reachability distance between p and q okay so in order to find the reachability distance what we are doing is like either it should be, either it will be core distance or the uh, euclidean distance between p and q that is our uh, definition for reachability distance so here q where the q is where the q where the point q is q is standing outside the uh, core distance right it is outside 3 mm right where is the co core distance here core distance is only up to this right and q is outside of the core distance so if i want to find the reachability distance between p and q and q is standing outside the core distance core distance value then we will take the euclidean distance between p and q that is known as reachability distance so here reachability distance between p and q is given as 7 mm that is the euclidean distance between the points p and q now what about the reachability distance of p and r now consider the reachability distance of p and r p is here r is here now this is p and r is like this i want to find the reachability distance so here it is given as reachability distance is 3 mm why is it so what is the difference between q p and q and r and p what is the difference here q is standing outside the core distance but the point r is inside the core distance if at all a point is inside the core distance we will take the core distance value as the reachability distance so once again i'll repeat here reachability distance of a point q which is standing outside the core distance then we will take the euclidean distance between those two points okay, here in this you can see the core distance and reachability distance here the core distance of p epsilon dash is uh, taken as 3 epsilon dash is 3 mm epsilon is given as 6 mm which is the minimum radius value which should satisfy the uh, minimum point criterion so that's all about the core distance now what about reachability distance reachability distance of p and q1 is epsilon dash that is 3 mm why because it is inside the core distance value now what about p and q2 it is a euclidean distance between p and q2 here it is not calculated value it is just given as the euclidean distance between the points Euclidean distance between the points P and Q2 that's it so that is the core distance and reachability distance concept I think all of you are clear with this idea of core distance and reachability distance now we will discuss about next is a reachability plot it is like while growing the like you can see some set of points are represented here this is the cluster and higher density point should be pro here in reachability plot higher density plots are processed first find the high density cluster first uh, <coughs> he here uh, the some points belonging to a cluster have low reachability distance to the nearest neighbor you can see some clusters having higher density and some are having lower density so here here you can see this value is represented like this right so deeper this valley point valley point deeper the valley this valley is this deeper the valley the denser the cluster is so if we order them according to reachability we can plot the clustering structure like you will get a three gaussian bumps this is one two three 
so that shows highest clustering density there okay so this is the reachability plot so in the case of optics while doing the clustering you will get a reachability plot like this so <coughs> highest clustering if the more number of points are there if deeper the cluster uh, deeper the valleys here you can see the valley is deeper compared to this point and all so their cluster uh, there more number of cl clustering points are there we can plot so we will call deeper the valley denser the cluster is here also same thing here also same thing okay L like like this we will get a reachability plot in the case of Mm, optics so the now we will see the optic clustering versus db scan algorithm the main one of the difference between them is memory cost optic cluster optic clustering technique require more memory as it maintain a priority queue to determine the next data point which is closest to the point currently being processed next is fewer parameter optics clustering technique does not need to maintain the epsilon parameter it should maintain only core distance and reachability distance and this technique does not segregate the given data into clusters it merely produces reachability distance plot that is the difference between this optics and db scan so that's all about uh, optics clustering algorithm which is a density based clustering how this db optics clustering work how it is differ from db scan and the main parameter